people with disabilities are no different in terms of wanting to enjoy an independent life and to carve their own path. We're not going to go into a community that's not safe. We find homes where you and I would live. These are God's children, and they deserve to have a place here in the community. I'm connected to the community, whether it's in my church or, you know, walking into my local Rite Aid, and that's how they should feel as well. Good morning, buddy. Good morning. Hey, Burton. Good morning. What's up? How you doing, Jay? Very good. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. I'm fine. You're not working today? He comes and gets oh, coffee and a bagel the, um... with cream cheese and jelly. I was sitting out at the picnic table and he just come out and started talking and that's how we become friends. Oh, Burton is our like 18 year old friend. It's my mom. morning customer, they know Burton. If they don't see him here, they ask me where is Burton? And if Burton don't see them, they say where are that people? So our individuals that we serve, some of them might want to come out and work in the community. The job coaches and the team would meet with them to determine what their interests are. You know, do you want to work um, in food service? Do you want to work in, um, in health care, in cleaning, working with children, working with adults? Um, and that really helps to carve out the opportunities that the job coaches can then talk with the individuals about. When we first got this job placement here at Goodwill, Burton would be enthusiastic about going, asking can he work extra um, it was just a good, a, a perfect fit actually for Burton because he loves it here. They love him. We do try to accommodate everyone's wishes and we try to do individualized supports so people have choices. Burton has um, a, a special activity that he started a couple years ago with guided tours. Uh, he's gone to Atlantic City, uh, the Poconos, um, He's had a really, like, grand time. Band of Brothers, that's just for the men. If they do a lot, they go golfing. They go um, out to eat. They go to the movies. They love the ball game. It's right around the corner. The Patriots, they, they do a lot. Burton is a nice guy that everybody loves him, both in the community and even in the house. He loves his family. You don't have cable vision. Yes, we do have cable. Yeah, I know you do, but I've never seen that before. The transition to adulthood after a child's educational entitlement ends can be devastating for both the family and the child. And so our job is really to help families kind of navigate um, and participate in that transition. As any normal mother, you're, you're confused or upset, you know. But it, it was good for him. And that's the same as if your child goes to college or leaves to get married. It's, it's all the same. It's pretty much what we do on a normal basis, a uh, day-to-day living. Um, like in the morning, sometimes we'll do Saturday cleaning. The ladies help assist. Aniva has a very big contribution to Eastwood. She is a ball of fire, like she keeps the house going. If she's not around, it's pretty quiet around here. We do have house meetings with our ladies as a group. They, they talk about things they want to do for the weekend and activity. They can definitely verbalize their desires. What pretty cool that is called? Here you go. Thank you. Neva has volunteered at Habitat for Humanity and actually some other places for quite a while. And she comes in and she does some activities that wouldn't otherwise get done. Um, her pr preferred activity is to dust down tables and everything. So she keeps the showroom looking nice. She's very valued and appreciated by the people from Habitat. And if 
If we didn't provide her with the opportunity, we wouldn't know how well she would do. When I first came, and she couldn't get her to do anything. Um, and then it was just kind of like we grew a bond. I would take her out and just try different things with her. Maybe just picking up, we started with just picking up the trash first. And then like, okay, well she can pick up the trash out in the public and it's just us. Let's see if we can volunteer out. And she loves it. She loves every bit of it. She'll even go back and re redo it again and say, oh, I forgot something. Neva contributes her time and effort, and she gets to know people in the community. She gets to be a part of Habitat by just simply dusting or cleaning furniture is a great help to us. Keeps our items looking fresh and new, and really helps us with our customers. During the summer, we had a couple of barbecues. Uh, we'll go to other group homes and visit their clients. Um, she loves going to Dunkin' Donuts. What's your, what's your favorite thing you like at Dunkin' Donuts? Caramel with cream coolers, iced coffee, and chocolate chip muffin. Yep. She's really cool. Sorry. She's just really cool. She's come such a long way. And um, she's a different person than when she was 15 years ago. Neva came with um, various behavioral issues that she really had to work out. Uh, and we had to work out in the community. Uh, Neva would. Um, run out of the house sometime, uh, we'd be chasing down the street. That's where the bike came out because we said, Neva, instead of running down the street, would you like to ride a bike? And she said, as you can tell, yes! So we got bikes, Neva got bikes, and we started riding around the community. So she could still go, she could still have the, the place to get out, to clear her mind, to do stuff. So we started riding bikes and we got to know our neighbors really, really well. Um, Neva uh, is very strong. She can be very powerful. A lot of times she lets her frustration out that way. So there's always space around her. People are well trained. People know how to duck. <laughs> People know how to move out of her way. People know how to redirect her. Um, so you learn those things and Neva's life gets better and better and better because she wants to make it work. Good morning. This is Open Door Christian Store. May I help you? John likes to volunteer at our Bible bookstore um, during the week, especially days that he has off. There you go. All he right. used to be really shy. Um, when I first met John, he really didn't want to talk. We kind of had to, right. you know, like, John, you can do it. It was more <laughs> prep. Now it's, there's no question. Thank you very much. Just seeing that confidence come in, in, in him has made me very proud. Show me around the house. How long have you lived here? Um, six years. Six years. And how do you like it so far? I love it here. Awesome. Awesome. This is our, our backyard. Mm -hmm. Everybody was tremendously supportive. It was his time. His, his mom um, was 74 at the time and had slowed down a little bit. And we wanted John to have some independence, so all of the siblings, everybody in the family was supportive. And, you know, we got in touch with his caseworker and took our time and were fortunate enough to find uh, the open door. And John's been extremely happy here. You moved in what? Right before Thanksgiving, right? Yeah. Yep. Well, you moved in and two days later we had to go to Delaware to go to Thanksgiving at Mary's. Yeah. It's not too far. <clears throat> I mean, uh... Two hours. Two hours. Two hours to Thanksgiving at Mary's. Yeah. One, two, three angels. Three colorful angels, perfect. And then how many of these angels do we have? And there's one. One, two, three, four. Okay. Four angels. Perfect. I've been working at Sharper for three years. I got two different paychecks, one, f one for my program and one for my, let me see. Working at ARC. Working at ARC for almost six, almost, almost six years.
John does a tremendous job for him being able to to get out and work, especially you know you know where he lives in the community. It, it's it's tremendous. We have a, uh, about four other individuals that are working in the store uh, as baggers and and doing other functions. We're part of the community. We are the community. You know, these are our shoppers, and you know when you know we get the store ready during the day, we get it ready for our community, and uh, you know that's what you know that's our that's what we strive for. Every person is an individual and so we have to make sure that we honor who they are and create systems of support for the individual that will match their wishes and their desires and their goals and their dreams. How to do that is really doing person-centered thinking, really thinking about that person that you are serving and really just making sure that that person's needs are met the best way that you can. Consumers have the right to live in a beautiful home and be able to connect with their community and have people treat them in the way that they deserve to be treated. Transition is hard on everybody. It's not just the person that's transitioning, but also on, on family, on friends. Um, and what we do is we say, come have dinner, come hang out, come spend a night not mom or dad or brother and sister, but the person. And then let's see what happens. Come spend a weekend. Come spend a week. Slowly that happens. And then people go, oh, this is really cool. Or the family member say, this is my home now, Ma. I don't want to go home anymore. You go home. I'll stay here.